Good morning, Blue Maths Group, and welcome to the last math session of the week. So you know what we've been doing all week. We've had our number square on screen, and we've been practicing counting in tens from different numbers. So today I'm going to ask you to count in tens from the number two, but I'm not going to do it. I'd like you to do it on your own. So off you go, count in tens from the number two. Okay, so hopefully with this on screen to help you, it was very easy. And you started at two and you traveled vertically down, saying all the numbers that end with a two, because we know that only our tens column changes when we're counted in tens and that our ones column stays with two, so that you would have said all the numbers that end in a two. Well done if you did that. Okay, so now can you find me the number 15? on the grid. 15 is one of our team numbers, which means it has 110. Did you spot it? There he is. How about the number 72? Can you find 72 for me? Oh, tricky, because I've hidden that one already. There he is, 710, 72. And how about the number 40? Can you find that one? Yes, that's one of our tens numbers, isn't it? So 40 is by there. Well done if you found all those numbers and you managed to count in twos. Fantastic work. OK, so today on screen, I have got some deans. Now, the question today is, which is the smallest? So pause me, work out which one is the smallest and come back and tell me how you know. Right, so hopefully you looked at both the numbers and you said, right, the first thing I've got to do is figure out how many is there. So you looked at this one and you went 110, 210, 310, 410, 510. So 510 and 11. So that gave you your number. Then you looked this side and you went, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 510. There we go. Is that all you did? Or did you realise that because these are tens, it needs to be a two digit number? So we went, oh, no zeros. Hopefully you spotted that you needed to put that placeholder zero in as well. Mm, now these numbers are very similar. Which is the smallest? Well, when we check them out, we check the tens column first, don't we? But they've both got the same number in the tens column. So if that's the case, remember we have to check the ones. So I'm hoping that you told me this was the smallest number because 50 is smaller than 51. Well done if you got that right. OK, so carrying on with our subtracting because we were doing take away yesterday, weren't we? Yesterday we were taking away 10. Do you remember how we did that? Let's do a little recap to check that we remember. So we were drawing our deans, weren't we? We were saying one dean, two deans, three deans, and then oh, four ones, one, two, three, four. And then we weren't drawing another 10 because we didn't want to add 10, we wanted to take 10 away. So we were crossing one of them out, weren't we? And once we've crossed it out, we can then find our answer. One ten, two tens. And the ones stay the same, no change. So 34, take away 10, leaves you with 24. This one then. Now we know that when we did the addition, adding more than 10 was easy. So surely taking away more than 10 should be just as easy. Should we have a go? So let's see. We start with our number three tens and four ones. Now this time we're being asked to take away 20. Now we know that 20 is two tens. So we need to take away two of the tens. So take away one ten, two tens. What does that leave us with? Well, it leaves us with one ten and no change to the ones because nothing happened to the ones, there's so still four ones. So 34, take away 20 this time, leaves us with 14 because we've gone down from 34 to 24 to 14. Okay, what 
right, let's have a look and see if you can do this one on your own. Pause me, come back to me when you're done. Right, so how did you do? Did you find that easy? So we know what we do. We draw our deans for our first number. One, two, three, four, five, because we have five tens, and one, two, three ones. How many do I need to take away this time? It's asking me to take away the number 40. How many tens have we got in 40? We've got four tens, haven't we? So cross out number one, number two, number three, and number four. What does that leave me with? Well, it just leaves me with one ten, doesn't it? So I've got one ten and my ones don't change. So I've still got three ones. Did you get that one right? Let's try the next one. Have a go at this one, pause me, come back to me when you're ready. Okay, so these are really big numbers, but again, by drawing the deans, it's really easy to do this maths. So, oh, this time I need eight tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I hope your, your tens look a little bit neater than mine. And one, one. How many do we need to take away? Well, this time it's asking us to take away 60. How many tens are in 60? Six tens. So I'm going to take away one ten, two tens, three, four, five, six. How many tens have I got left? One, two. So I have two tens left and my ones stay the same. So 81 take away 60, which sounds like a number sentence we'd never be able to do, leaves us with 21, just because we use the deans to help us out. Okay, so again today, number sentences on the screen for you to do, copy them down, use your deans, draw your deans, and then take away the number that's in the number sentence. Now, if we look at these number sentences today, we're taking away a bigger number than 10, so more than 10. But they're all round numbers, they all have zeros on the end, they're all multiples of 10, so we can take them away really easily just by using our deans. So draw your deans, take the right number away, find the answer. When you've done that, have a lovely weekend. I know it's only Thursday, but have a lovely weekend when you get there, and I'll speak to you again soon.